Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is 7.04 a.m. A couple of minutes late getting started here on this wonderful Wednesday. What is today? The 23rd. Wow. Wednesday, May the 23rd of 2018. My name is Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. How are you doing today? I, um, I don't know. I started to say I'm going to start this new thing. I just thought it was a pretty snappy title. One word Wednesday. We're going to, we're going to dig into one word today and um, we'll see how that goes. Hey, before we do that though, if you would do me the honor, leave a comment. Uh, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, just leave a comment, leave a like, thumbs up, whatever floats your boat. All those things make me happy. And since today is Wednesday, there is a very high likelihood that there will be a coffee shop show uh, today at 9 o'clock. You can catch it right here, same place. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the URL is not working yet, but come back here. You'll find it here. There's my beautiful bride. Good morning, dear. I guess she likes to watch me here instead of from right here. Anyway, that's fine. It works for me. All right, so today's one word for Wednesday is, if you saw the title, you should have a hint, complexity. You know, very often we say, or we think, we might just tell ourselves, but we will tell other people too, uh, that when we, when we think we're doing something great or big or important, we'll just say, well, it's complicated. But the reality is that we're just avoiding the hard work of finding out what the real problem is. See, com- complexity is when you put a bunch of moving pieces together and you don't really find the motor that's driving the whole mechanism. Does that make sense? So you got a car. I don't know how, I kind of know how a car works, right? But there's all these moving pieces and parts and you got oil and grease and gas and all that stuff. How does one motor drive all of that stuff? I don't know. But if we dig into the result that we're trying to create, we will find that there is one underlying cause, one underlying motivating factor. And that's what we really have to get to simplify make it simple we do that by finding that root cause in engineering there's this i don't know if it's really a principle or just an anecdote but the you know five whys you have to ask why five times before you get to the real problem i find that to be true in the work that i do working with my coaching clients I mean, very often I'll get a, hey, I, I need to add 10 more customers. Can you help me do that? Sure, I can help you do that. Why do you need to add 10 more customers? Well, because I need to add, you know, X amount of revenue. All right, that's awesome. That's a great goal. Why do you need to add that kind of revenue? Well, because I need to do it. So they've already jumped all the way forward to the solution and, you know, not really focusing on that real problem. So if you find yourself... Here's the, here's the big takeaway for today. If you find yourself in a situation and you're thinking, man, this is really complicated. That should be the red flag for you. The clue, the trigger, the indication that you need to simplify it. If you've got a big goal, I mean, look back here on the whiteboard. If you've got a big goal, break it down into steps. The steps, each one of, in, in my case, the stickies on the whiteboard, are all one day's effort or less. Nothing on there can can be longer than a day. For you, it might be something else, but I would suggest to you, if you can't get it done in a day, you don't have it broken down far enough. Because once you start tracking something over multiple days, you kind of lose sight of the... You start focusing on the totality and you lose sight of the the individual pieces. And without that visibility, that insight into the individual pieces, then you lose the focus to execute on those. And when you don't execute on those, then the big thing doesn't get done. Then it's a week later and you're like, huh, I still don't have it done. Break it down into tasks. That's one reason why I push this idea of you can only have one priority at a time. Right, because it forces simplification. 
So each day, one priority for the day, there might be four or five other areas to focus on when you have an opportunity, but this priority, if this is the only thing I get done today, it was a successful day. If I do everything else and don't do this, it was an unsuccessful day. That's a priority, right? And if you string enough days together where you complete that priority, you're going to have a great week. All right, that's it for today. The word for the day is complexity. The answer is simplify. If you find yourself thinking, man, this looks complicated, or planning something out over multiple days, you need to simplify. Remember, coffee shop show, 9 o'clock. I have... uh, I have it on good authority that it'll probably happen. So be sure and tune in for that. You can find that right here. If you don't, if you're not able to catch us at the coffee shop, be back here in the morning, seven o'clock for another installment, seven minutes in the morning. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.